What is up, fellas? We're back playing another episode of NBA 2K16, my career, my player, whatever you want to call it. And we're going to be playing the Utah Jazz in Utah in this episode. We're going to hop right in it. It's the hop right in the game. Game show. Welcome to 2K Sports, everybody. Thanks for joining us. Ernie Johnson, Shaquille O'Neal, and Kenny the Jet Smith. Our game tonight featuring the New Orleans Pelicans as they go up against the Utah Jazz at their home, Energy Solutions Arena. Well, for Utah, they've had some struggles so far in the early part of the season, but they've been modifying their approach and their game plan each time out. While they haven't seen the hard work pay off yet, this is a team that's vocalized their dedication to doing whatever it takes to continue to improve. And as we take a few moments here, Shaq, the term basketball IQ is constantly thrown around these days. What exactly is meant by that? Because I don't have it. Ernie, basketball I have no IQ. idea. You know, you can be smarter than me if you want to. You can be a Rhodes Scholar, but you know what I will do to you. <laughs> don't, doesn't necessarily mean you make good decisions on the basketball court. Basketball IQ, that. All right, let's go. Shaq, one of the best basketball players ever. And look out over the luminous expanse of Salt Lake City, Utah, the crossroads of the West. The Pelicans come into a Western Conference contest in this game. 2K Sports is proud to present NBA basketball. All right, let's go start this game, fellas. We got this. Dante Exum. Miles check in for Gobert. The feed the post is Miles the directive. And it's Exum in for Brooklyn. We're down by three. Substitution here for New Orleans. Come in. Omerash. He's checked in for Alexis Aginsa. Anderson. About five when we get the ball. Eric Gordon. He's checked in for Tyree Evans. And Freak subbed in for Drew Holiday. So for New Orleans right now, maybe it's an Ashik in the middle. There we go, baby. Feed the post. Anderson in at the three spot. Tell you what, he's not an easy guy to stop when he's got his sight on the rim. Never has been, never will be. He is a determined finisher. Did he just go chop chop there? Hit that one hand, tomahawk slam. He always knows where his teammate's going to be, and Kevin, that will let him put the ball where he wants it. Right waiting for him. Great start for him. 4-4. Four, four. He could be in for a big game. Certainly looks that way to me, partner. I mean, his energy level is ramped up. I think he's been terrific right from the opening tip. And it's Hayward. That time on the assist by Booker. And it's six points for Gordon Hayward. That's just run of the mill for him. A typical day at the office. He's one of the more skilled offensive players out there. Ashik dishes to Davis. Sinks it from just inside the baseline. Davis go, baby. Ten points in the game. No matter what the score is, his attitude has been perfect. I love his disposition. He has stayed in attack mode. Here's Hood, defended by Gordon. Pass to Exxon. There's the triple. <laughs> Cannot hit. And New Orleans will go the other way with it. And this game, the first chance they've had to see Utah. Yeah, and they took care of business against this group last year, winning the season series. Yeah, Greg, you're right. They're the better team. I mean, they expect to win this matchup. We'll see if they can take care of business tonight. Hayward against Anderson. Now here's Hayward, guarded close. The second chance effort. Ashik pulls it in. Oh, you, you've got to be able to deliver when you get a bunny like that. That's just too easy of a shot to miss. Gordon, the pass to Freak. A three ball. The shot is off. I was going to have it. I really did. Well, we're down by one at the end of the first. Didn't really score much. We scored one basket, had two assists. He talked about his focus on developing his skills. Yeah, I just want to get better. I just want to keep improving as a player throughout the year, just get better, keep making strides, and you know, keep getting better in every aspect of my game. Well, the desire is there, and sounds like the commitment that he's showing is to uh, how far, Greg, you think he can go? All 
All right, got Trey Burke. Factor that determines so many more careers than desire, talent, and commitment. You need to on the show, Co. Why don't you put on a show for the crowd? Just have some fun. Oh, I can do that. That's the directive I like right there, baby. Really about limiting their mistakes, and, and early on they've been able to do that here in the first. And guys, I like what I've seen from them on the other end, forcing a few giveaways, and that's allowed them to widen that turnover margin. And now let's check out the lineups, courtesy of Gatorade, all fueled up and ready to go. Here's the second quarter of play. So on the floor for Utah, Burke and Exum in the backcourt, Favors and Gobert, the shot blocking duo inside, and it's Burks in at the three side. Covered. He squares up and sinks it. Let's go down by three. Got this. Last game in New Orleans, they picked up the win against the Denver Nuggets. You know, sometimes you're going to win because of your performance. And Come on. Which was the case for them. It's the play of your opponent that allows you to escape with wins. Well, you're right. I mean, there were a lot of turnovers in that game. Some calls by their good defensive play, but some were just. Boom, let's go, baby. All right, put on a show. I'll start putting on a show. Give me a green light. I'll take it. Now, here's Burke. Tight defense on him. Burks kicks to Burke. Pass to Exxon. Five to shoot. Favors with the screen. Off the screen. And it's off the back rim, no good. You're not going to see that very often. Plenty of space, but he just, let's face it, he whiffs on that one. Here's Freak. And he hits the jumper for two. Let's go, baby. Got seven points. That is so tough to defend. He'll cross you over in a nanosecond. That move is next to unstoppable. Burke dishes to favors. Here's Burks. Score the basket. His fourth. He's only missed one of his five shots tonight. Ladies and gentlemen, your jazz dancer. Put on the show. You got it. Same directive. And so it's a close game. It's half down. We're up by two. And I'll take it. That's seven points. Uh, two assists. All right, gotta like it, gotta like it. I'm gonna bring it back to you. Second half. We'll get some more points. Well, both sides have assessed what they need to do over the break in halftime. We'll see now if one can pull out a win. Freaks checked in for Tyreek Evans. What's going on now, dude? Right. Two minutes Oof. into the second half of play now. Scared me right there, so fellas. Pondexter right and Davis fill up the forward slots. Freak oh, is out there with Holiday, oh, and it's a Jinsa in at the five. And really, how about the quick release on that triple there? Because he's given up a lot of height in that matchup. Right on target you are, Greg. I mean, the quick release is what made the difference there. Any hesitation? And that shot is being blocked. Here's Favors. And Davis. Get out of here, son. Davis touched it last. Not quite two and a half minutes played here in the second half. Four on the clock. On its way from Hayward for two. The Jazz again can't hit it. It's almost like he's trying to make things hard on himself. You know, he's just got to slow the game down. Try to get some easy ones. Freak. No good on the three. Utah trailing here. Got this card Trey Burke right here. A shot by Hayward, wide open. Another miss by Utah. Talk about hurting your team. I mean, he just can't get anything to go out there. Got it. Get the ball shot on the wing, and he hits. There the it is right there, baby. And that's 12 points for Freak. How about that move? You'll see very few players 
able to pull off just sensational stuff. Burke with it. He's playing a pretty big role for him at the offensive end, averaging about 12 and a half points a game. And that one's on target from the wing. Third quarter action and just under three and a half minutes have gone. Got it. Get the ball inside. Here's Freak. Rebounded by the Jazz. Their last game, a win against Boston, looking to carry it into this one. They just weren't challenged. I mean, nearly as much as they should have been in that game, at least when they had the ball. Yeah, it was a mismatch. I mean, the defense from the start was on its heels practically the entire game. Pulls up on the wing. Good for basket number six. There we go, baby. Contest. He's shooting six for 12. Man, he's having quite the quarter converting at a really high percentage. Gobert, the screen. Now, here's Burke. They set the pick. Favors with the screen. Burke kicks to Hayward. From deep three-point range. Rebound by Ajinsa. Ajinsa's got rebound number five here tonight. You got it. Get the ball inside. Let's it go. And nah. Nah, I got this. I got this. Freak's got the lead up to four now for the Pelicans. Utah's gone 0-2 from deep to start things here in the second half. Gobert the screen. Hayward outside. Gobert, the screen. Fires the three. Hayward can hit. Oh, boy, I tell you what. They don't get much uglier than the quarter he's having. Yeah, and it's not showing any signs, Greg, of turning around here soon. I mean, his touch is basically gone AWOL. Jazz trail by four. Favors with the screen. Burke kicks to Burks. There's the dish to Favors. Who scores a six bucket from the floor with that one? He's shot the ball 11 times. Just no chance for the smaller defender to block that shot. He's really, really good at using his size to free himself up for those mid-range jumpers. A master at it. There's Freak. Not enough on that one as it misses. The Jazz shooting reasonably well, 45%. Out to Hayward for the lead. And that one's good. Hayward's got five points. Ah, dang, dude. He's a guy that's been missing all quarter long. And immediately got him the basketball. What a play. Wow, let's go. Another buzzer beater, baby. Got the lead. That's what I'm talking about, baby. That's what I'm talking about. And I can't quit. All I know is. Let's go, baby. All right, the fourth quarter of action getting underway. We've had a great fourth quarter. Ooh, I actually get to play a good amount right here. We're up by one right now. Quincy Pondexter, he's checked in for Eric Gordon. And Freak subject. Play defense, and then we can make a little statement. Get the win. Get the dub. That's the group right now for Utah. Looking at the game for Hayward, he's got 13 points and a decent little assist over for him, too. No doubt they'd like to see that carry over to the rest of the team. Get good assist numbers all the way around. Looking at who's out there now for the Jazz. Rudy Gobert, who's checked in for Lyles. Favors comes in for Trevor Booker. And Trey Burke subbed in for Exum. And it's Freak missing. Jazz have gotten just under 45% of their attempts to drop in the fourth. Four of nine. They get a hand on it. Favors dishes to Burks. Burke with it. Out of ended by Freak. The three. Oh my God. He keeps switching my guy. What am I supposed to do? Hit it. Oh my God. And as far as jump shots go, that's what you have to continue to try and get. I don't know how that one stayed out. Great open look there. Ah, dang, dude. Never done by four. All right. We got a minute left. We got plenty of time. Let's it go from 11. Good. And he has brought them to within two points. 
Boy, what a Let's go, baby. bucket that was. Greg, now that's coming through in the clutch. Now, here's Burke. Defense right on him. And it's out of bounds to the Jazz as Utah retains possession. Forty-one seconds left in the fourth quarter. Nice ball movement by Utah. Here's Hayward. And lots of contact there. Missing the shot. He'll shoot two. You had a foul to give there, but you'd rather not have it cost your team points. I agree. I mean, you would have been better off using it on the floor and not on the shot. But the foul had to come either way, so it is what it is. You got it. Get the ball inside. Here's Freak. Sinks it. Oh, baby, let's go. Boy, that was a big shot. And that one just flattened this crowd, Kevin. And stunned silence, guys. That's the atmosphere in here after that shot. Good on the first, and that will put them up by two. Can't knock it down, and they really needed that one. Here's New Orleans. And it's still within reach. But they have to be really close to perfect from here on out. I mean, they have to get their offense right on target, right on point immediately. Wow, baby, let's go. Let's go, baby. That's what I'm talking about right there. Oof. 11 and a half seconds left. We gave them a lot of freaking time for this shot. I mean, let's see what we can do. Just play defense, dude. That's all we can do. So it's Utah now. Favors with the screen. Burke kicks to Burks. Oh, no good. Good pick, but he, he just couldn't make it count. Yeah, no Overtime, guys. baby. Let's go. I'm sure you appreciate it. See what we could do. He came out clutch right there this game. Well, if you're just joining us, this one has been a great one. We've got overtime action now, folks. And the Jazz start out with the ball. Now oh, we're going to win this game. So we see the Pelicans get the win here. Nice. Got a six-point lead. Finally got to play in the fourth quarter. Last two minutes. Came out clutch. Got to tell overtime for us. And then the rest of the team took care of it. Got a six-point win. Well, I'd be happy with that. Let's go, baby. It was a great game, baby. Great game. Kevin, much appreciated. And now let's present our Jordan player of the game, Anthony Davis. We saw him come out looking very confident, making his first five shots of the game. He was... And yeah, I have two assists. We hope you enjoyed the game for Shaquille O'Neal, Kenny the Jack. Let's go, baby. Let's go. And hit advance out of here. We'll see what's coming up next. Who we're playing. Have a little off day. Do the FanDuel sponsorship. And... And we'll be back for our next game. Let's see what's going on. Real streak going now. Can you keep it up? Absolutely. You better believe we can keep it up. And nobody can play with us right now. We men out here. And the rest of the league is just little boys. So, next question. Any reason you were in such an offensive group tonight? Yeah, I mean, I had some pretty good looks and was able to knock him down. When my teammates are helping to set me up like that, my part is easy. So, thank you all. I saw your longtime girlfriend, Yvette Mendenhall, was in attendance at the game today. So when are you gonna get her a ring? Oh my God. Whoa. All right, I didn't know we were gonna get all personal up in here tonight. <laughs> If there's anything I learned after my first season in the NBA, is that it's best to keep my personal life private. So that's what I'm gonna do. Me and Yvette are happy, just like we've always been. She means the world to me, and that's all I'm gonna say. All right, I'm out.
Oh, that's funny, dude. <laughs> Let's see, baby. We got a uh, off day, and we'll be playing the Houston Rockets in Houston. You just heard that little phone buzz. I'm not going to check it right now. I'll be checking it in the next episode. We see what's going on with that trade request, whatever else is going on. So until then.